I'm out here at uh, Kevin Lofton Park today to start day five of the Catawba Quest. Uh, we'll be putting in here and paddling 12 miles down to McDowell Nature Preserve, getting all our boats loaded up here. All right, we're all packed up, ready to leave. Got on the next great adventure. Guest star Wills Metcalf here with us. All right, let's get started. Just downstream from your uh, launch here at Kevin Lofton Park, you've got your Belmont intake. This is where all the water for the city of Belmont gets taken out of the Catawba River. Passing the old train bridge here, you can still see the remains of the train bridge that got washed out in the Great Flood in 1916. Legend has it is that there's still a train that's sunk in the river right here. See, we've got a osprey in its nest here. It's unfortunate that our wildlife have to live right alongside all of our trash. We are out in front of the Allen Steam Station. I am gonna turn it over to your river keeper, Brandon Jones. All right, well here we are at Allen Steam Station. So this is one of the three currently operated coal-fired power plants on the top of the river. Uh, so we're actually here on Lake Wiley where there's two power plants, the coal-fired one right behind us, and then a couple miles south there's actually a nuclear station as well. Uh, this facility is currently being phased out. Uh, it should, it's expected to close in 2029. Um, however, it's been open since the 50s and they've been storing coal ash in unlined ponds since then. So that ash fill is part of our recent litigation um, and the cleanup of that will probably extend up to 2037. Uh, so we're continuing to, continuing to monitor the site, uh, but really happy with the progress they've made so far. Grab a quick water sample out here at the uh, Allen Steam Station. We're about to shove off from our lunch beach here. We're about halfway. Continue on to the McDowell Nature Preserve. So this direction is where the south fork of the Catawba enters the main channel. Then the main channel continues in this direction. We're about to cross into South Carolina. Got a cool little tiny home village up here. 
If anybody lost their kayak, it'll be at the boathouse for you to retrieve. Found a kayak out on the shore, a little undeveloped area. It was kind of flipped over and full of water, but uh, we got it. We ended up doing 13.07 miles. What'd you think, Wills? Yeah, flat water. Nice. All right, that's a wrap.